This video tutorial is going to teach you how to make this wreath ornament. Perfect for Christmas. So to do this, first we're going to grab our red thread and we're just going to unwind some from this plastic bobbin. And we're just going to take as much thread as we think we're comfortable using. So if it's your first time doing embroidery, start with a little bit of thread and then you can get more as you get more comfortable. So go ahead and cut off a piece of thread and we're going to tie a knot on one end of the thread. So we're going to make a loop like this and then we're just going to tuck the tail through the loop and that will make a knot. And you can do this one or two times. So once you've got your knot, you're going to thread your needle with the other end. So I like to pinch the ends of the thread to kind of squish all, them to, all the threads together and then slide it through the needle. And then we're just going to pull the needle down the thread and we'll have this little tail here next to it. So now that we've got our needle threaded we're ready to start. So we're going to start underneath the fabric and we're going to bring our needle up somewhere along the bow and see how the needle's coming from underneath it so that this is going to hide the knot on the back side. And then we're just going to stitch straight down. We're going to do a little stitch and pull the needle all the way through. Then what we're going to do is we're going to skip ahead and bring the needle up from underneath. But we see how we've got this little space here? And then we're going to go back down and we're going to touch that same stitch we already made. And we're going to pull it through. This is called a back stitch. So again, we're going to move ahead a little bit, leaving that little space there. And we're going to pull the needle all the way through. And then we're going to go back and touch the previous stitch. And we're going to go right down that same hole. We'll pull the needle all the way through. So this will make all of our stitches connect. So each time I'm just skipping ahead a little and then going back and touching the previous stitch. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I've gone around the entire bow. So you can do big stitches or you can do little stitches. It's up to you. For this next part of the bow, you can see that it's just like one long straight line. So I'm just going to do one long stitch from one end to the other. And I like to do this on any straight edges. So this next part of the bow is also a straight edge, so I'm just going to do one stitch from one corner to the other corner. And I'll do that for this part of the bow because it's a straight edge. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you need to catch up. We're going to finish up this bow and then we'll move on to the green part of the wreath. So I'm on my last stitch here and then I want to show you how to tie it off on the back. So I want to end with the thread on the back side of my fabric. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over and to tie a knot I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to slide it underneath a stitch. So I'll slide it underneath this stitch. I'm not going through the fabric, I'm just going under the stitch. And I've got this little loop here. I'm going to stick my needle back through that loop and pull it tight. And that's going to make a knot. I'm going to do it two times. So I'm going to slide my needle underneath that same stitch as last time. And then there's the loop. I'm going to stick my needle through the loop and pull it tight. And if you do that twice, then you've got a knot. So now you can cut the thread. So you just have a small tail on the back. And um, I'll cut this other one too. And now your thread is tied off. So for the next part of the wreath, we are going to take our green thread. So again, we're going to unwrap some thread from the bobbin. And take as much as you are comfortable using. and then you go ahead and cut some off. So on one end of our thread we're going to tie a knot. So remember to do this we're going to make a loop and then we're going to stick that tail through the loop and pull it tight. And you can do this one or two times. Then we're going to thread our needle with the other end of the thread. 
So I always like to pinch the thread together so that it can go easily through the needle. So you've got this little tail of thread next to your needle. And so for this green section, we are going to start over here with these straight lines. So we're going to start by bringing our needle up from underneath, and this is going to hide our knot on the back side. So I'm starting at one end of a line. You can pick any line to start on. And you're just going to bring your needle up, and the knot's going to stop it on the back. And then you're going to insert the needle back down on the other end of the line. You can think of this as like tracing over the lines with thread. You're just going to stitch from one end of the line to the other end of the, the line. There's really no wrong way to do it. You just want to go from one end to the other. So you don't have to worry, like on the bow, you don't have to worry about connecting your stitches because um, each line is going to be its own stitch. And you're just going to keep doing this until you've gone all the way around your wreath. So I've gone all the way around the wreath and I'm just here on my last stitch. So I'm going to go, I'm inserting the needle down, I want to end with my thread on the back side of my ornament. So I'm going to flip it over and now I'm going to tie it off. So remember I'm going to slide my needle underneath a stitch that's close by and then I'm going to insert that needle through that loop that just formed. So I'm going to stick it through that loop and pull it tight. I'm going to do it one more time. So I'm going to go through that same stitch. And then I'm going to insert the needle through that loop and pull it tight. And if I do that twice, I've made a knot. So now I'm going to trim off that extra thread. And I'll trim off this other tail as well. And now I am done. I finished my wreath and the bow. So next up, I'll want to back my embroidery hoop so that all the fabric is pulled back. For help backing your embroidery hoops, see the instructions that came with your kitty kit for a video tutorial, and grab your next embroidery kit on my Etsy shop, Thread Unraveled.